Hi class. We are going to do a project today that has to do with Chinese New Year and as we have talked about in years past every year is a new theme for Chinese New Year based on the Chinese zodiac that has 12 different animals as part of the zodiac so it's divided up into 12 and each section has a different animal every year the animal changes and then eventually it repeats again this year is going to be the year of the monkey so we are going to do a project that will be a printmaking project based on a drawing that we're going to do today of a monkey. Uh, a couple things I just want you to notice about a monkey's face. It's actually made up of some pretty simple shapes. The monkey's nose and mouth is on its muzzle, which is pretty much a circle on the monkey's face. Around his eyes is this kind of um, heart shape. You can see that a monkey has a lot of wrinkles on his um, skin around his eyes on his lip okay and there's no hair for the most part on his face on his ears on his hands and on his feet so to start out we are going to draw using a piece of drawing paper that was cut in half because the printmaking plate that we're going to use is a styrofoam plate and it will be that same size. So we'll transfer the drawing to that in a little bit. I'm gonna turn the light on here so hopefully we can see a little better. I would like you guys to watch me go through the steps of the drawing and then we'll play the video again and you will follow along with the video. So to begin, we're going to draw a medium sized circle in the center of the page and then two more circles smaller for the eyes above the bottom circle inside of this circle we're going to draw kind of a flattened heart shape and that is for our monkey's nose so we're going to go ahead and put two nostrils in there he will have a smile on you can add the smile lines if you want to but we're, we're actually trying to make this a little bit more of a realistic drawing with simple shapes. So um, draw another curve line under his lip to show that there's a little dimension to his lip and then as you saw in those photographs there are some wrinkles in his skin above his lip. It's not supposed to look like a mustache, it looks a little bit like one now but when we're finished it will not. Okay then inside of the circles I want you to draw a curve line that curves down and another one that curves up and inside of it you're going to draw a circle for the monkey's uh, pupil of his eye or iris and then we actually don't see the pupil because his eye is very dark I'm going to have you draw a small circle though for the reflection of the light in his eye and then it's around that reflection that you're going to color in with your pencil so it's going to be a dark eye with a small circle of light reflected in his eye so on the other one you're going to do the same thing two curved lines a circle for the iris of his eye and then another small circle could be off-center a little bit to the top and then color around it so now he's got a little bit of a highlight in his eyes please draw some extra curve lines above and below his eyes where the wrinkles of skin would be and then an extra one above for his brow and then you will draw in between the eyes about halfway to in between his mouth his ears sticking out towards the side monkeys have pretty big ears so you're going to draw a curved line on either side for his ears and then you can draw another curve at the top inside and that's going to be shaded in a little bit inside of his ears you could draw another little curve on the bottom for the contours of his ears 
you will also add some curved lines for some more wrinkles on the side of his face and then pretty much the rest of it is going to be covered with fur so in between his eyes the fur grows in a pattern that looks sort of like a v-shape so i want you to add some lines in between his eyes for his fur and then a monkey's um, hair is pretty uh, bristly and will stick more or less straight up on top of his head so draw your lines for the hair in the directions that his fur would grow okay and you would add a little bit of fur in between his eyes and his ears and I would angle that down a little bit you could draw a little bit of fur above his mouth and nose and he has longer fur on the sides of his face like where his cheek cheeks are so you're going to draw a little bit longer fur on the sides and then more fur underneath where his chin would be he has some whiskery hairs on the bottom of his chin you could overlap the circle a little bit with some fur and depending on how big you drew your monkey you might have some room now for his shoulders and then just lots more texture lines to show that he has a lot of fur on his body okay so he's got some wrinkles in his skin he's got a lot of fur and we're just going to add fur all the way down and if you have some space i do i'm going to add a little bit of a frame or a border around you might be able to fit that frame all the way around well my monkey filled up the bottom of the page pretty well but i'm just adding some uh, visual interest to my picture by adding some pattern or design or a frame something that i can decorate a little bit with some shapes or patterns or lines okay once you have your drawing complete if you want to add any extra wrinkle lines you sure could do that i'm going to add a few more and i'm going to transfer this now to my styrofoam plate and to do that first of all you do need to put your name on your paper but do not put your name on your styrofoam plate we don't want that to print we're going to just set the paper on top of the styrofoam and I use this one already I'm just going to try and line it up so that I can not have to use another one you're going to trace with your pencil and a dull pencil pencil works better than a sharp one the sharp one will cut through the paper more but you're going to press pretty hard and just outline all of those shapes and lines that you've already drawn with your pencil again and this time you're doing it through the paper onto the styrofoam you do not have to outline all the lines of the fur that you drew. You can just do that directly onto the styrofoam plate once you get the other main outlines drawn. And once you do that and you lift up your paper, you should be able to see those lines so that then you can go over them one more time with your pencil just on the styrofoam plate because this is going to be our printmaking plate which means we're going to roll ink onto it and the ink will stay on the surface of the styrofoam and everywhere that I press down the ink will not go into those grooves so I want to press pretty hard to make sure that those grooves are deep enough that the ink doesn't fill them up because then I won't have a very interesting print okay so now you can see the outlines a little bit I'm going to go back over all those lines now with the pencil and I can tell where I've already done it because I can see the, the, the lead color from my pencil on the styrofoam now. So if you don't see the lead black showing on your styrofoam, that means you haven't outlined it yet and you have to go back and outline that. So you're going to go carefully through and re-outline everything with your pencil, press down pretty hard especially in areas like this where you want it to be black and what we're going to do is print on a piece of black paper 
So the ink will sit on the surface of the styrofoam. So the ink is going to be the color of the background and the lines that you draw will be the color of the paper. So this is one I've actually finished and I've used already to print a couple times. That's why you can see the color on it. But you can see how many lines I've gotten um, on my styrofoam. I've gone through and done my border. In the eyes, I want to press down all the way around that highlight so that they print nice and dark on the black paper. And I will go through the steps of the printmaking process itself next week. So this week, what I expect you to finish is your sketch following along with the video and then you're going to transfer that to your styrofoam plate. Do not write your name on your styrofoam plate, please. You're going to put your paper when uh, class is over with your picture and then we'll collect those into the folder. Your name is on the paper so we'll know which one is yours because it's with your styrofoam plate. I'm hoping that you guys will all finish all of the outlining and getting those lines nice and deep. If you need to make them a little deeper, I'll let you know next week and you'll have to spend a little time finishing that up. Otherwise, you'll be ready to print as soon as we have our demonstration and get to work next week. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I expect to see some really cool drawings when I come back. Thank you for your attention and please do a good job. Thank you.